Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to Night City. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know we're playing Cyberpunk 2077. And that's not me being out in the city after dark. The first thing we're going to be looking at today is pay, paying off Victor, which I've done before doing the like big first early mission of Act 1. That was cool, I guess. It's just a thing. If you've not been able to do it yet, I guess you could look at this video and find out, although probably not. <laughs> We're going to be looking at a few other bits, I've got some few thoughts and, and such, but it's mainly just going to be stuff that I found, no sort of reviewing or anything like that. We can save that for another day, I am sure. So I've been saving up literally all my money, saving all the junk, weapons that I've been finding off people, and uh, yeah, we actually managed to get to pay enough Victor for all the... Up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Exactly. Hold on to him just in case. You need him more than me. Not taking him all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again. You know, this Victor guy, pretty stand up guy. Without ever seeing an end. That's what friends are for. Right, so I was outside a club doing this mission. I found this like great infomercial thing, which is for this. Uh, I can't believe it's called now. Yeah, Slaughtermatic. So effectively, it is a. You well, you'll see, but it's a plastic gun that has only one magazine. You just say, like it says on there, do not reload. Thirty six rounds, cheap. Well, cheap in inverted commas. So it is ninety euro dollars. <laughs> euro dollars. <laughs> so trashy, and uh, it. It's probably one of the neatest little things that I've found so far in the game. I know that sounds stupid because it's like it's such a throwaway like weapon. I don't know when when sort of you would need it. Maybe if I don't know. <laughs> See, look at that. It's just like you can imagine it being a real thing, and just the way it looks as well. Now I didn't realise obviously that as soon as you unequip it or try to take out another weapon, it's going to throw it, throw it to the ground because it's a d disposable. <laughs> <laughs> weapons. It is me like being totally confused and I, yeah, I didn't know what had gone on. I was like, well, where's the heck has my gun gone? So in the end, I just decided to buy another one. So effectively I had two. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you the animation of pulling out the like safety again, which is a bit of a shame and you know, I only got red ones. But uh, if any of you watch uh, Mitten Squad, he does like, you know, can you beat Fallout 4 with just a, no, Skyrim with a fork, isn't it? Um, well, you've got this here, and I'd love to see... I don't know why you would, but I'd love to see someone try and beat Cyberpunk 2077 with just a Slaughtermatic. I'm not necessarily one. Like, you can buy as many as you want, obviously, because you can put them in your inventory, but like literally having to come back here to buy them and buying the right amount of guns. and I know you can probably do a fair amount with stealth and what have you, but I was really actually surprised how much this, this kicks ass. And obviously, these guys open fire on me, so naturally, I had to put them down. And you might think, ah, oh, 36 shots, that's not a lot, but it it clears people out if you know, if you've got the right upgrades or what have you. You can do some real damage. So I use this just cleaning out this this club. And we'll sort of take a bit of a of a look through how that went. <laughs>
Though shortly afterwards discovered this hidden cache defended by a couple of those, well, nasty looking turrets. This guy was <laughs> obviously scared after his friend had got completely shot up by it. So just a quick disable of both of them. Stop myself ending up like that guy. And we're in. A bit concerned someone's going to drop out on us, but we're all good. And uh, now we enter, unfortunately, the case of the vibrating pizza. I think I saw pineapple on there. I'm not sure. Maybe anchovies. Anyway, it had to go. <laughs> I'm sure you will understand. <laughs> now, unfortunately, my final part of our adventures in Night City is how do you get away from the cops? You got a really high star rating. What do you do? Well, you want to test out a gun. Let's take these two chums, for example. We're going to shoot a load of head in there. Backup's going to come. It's going to appear out of nowhere behind me, by the way. I've watched this back several times. Three star rating. Oh no, here we go. Drones are going to be coming. These guys are getting shot. By the way, I didn't get hit once. How is this even possible? Um, but yeah. So you want to test out your new gun. You're doing fine. You're like, oh crap. Four star rating. You need to get out of here. There's a, one of them in my apartment. Anyway, we can't get you in your apartment. It's a safe zone. So you can either stand there staring awkwardly at each other. Or alternatively, get bored, go to bed. And um, yeah, they're just having a break. And that seems to be the best way to get yourself out of a police chase. Literally. Any cutscene will do it, apparently. And, yeah, straight into your apartment, and you are good to go. Cleared, gone. So I thought I'd leave you with that. My apologies, it's, well, it's obviously a bit shorter than normal, but I had those few bits to share, and I will continue to, you know, do stuff as we go along. You can then actually... I thought you could save this person, but turns out you just have to finish them off for the police. You know, street star. <laughs> there you go. Um, I'm enjoying it so far, I must say, and yeah. I don't know. It's just funny. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now. You stink of junk food.